Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just sitting here. I went to lunch. Yes. <laughs> and I woke up late this morning. I intentionally slept in till about 11 o'clock. Yeah. I didn't read my Bible this morning. No. I know it's not very good after having read the Bible for probably the last three, four months <laughs> to miss a Bible reading because I was tired. Yes. And it's Memorial Day weekend, and I know I should be up and going and trying to <laughs> kind of uh, plan or strategize how I'm going to get the laws enforced. <laughs> I spend hours and hours and hours thinking about, well, what am I going to do today? <laughs> but then I went to lunch. <laughs> you know what I noticed that we probably haven't talked about? No. <laughs> it's called spray. S-P-R-A-Y. Yes. <laughs> now, let me give you a few examples of how spray works. <laughs> Let's say you had an oil leak. <laughs> Call the Carlisle Group. Yes. <laughs> Approximately 10 years ago, one of these underwater oil wells went off and caused a large amount of oil to be released. Yes. <laughs> they had some planes that are specifically designed to spray what was known as Corex. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember that? I remember when they were spraying the oil on the ocean in the Gulf of Mexico. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Probably, did I mess up my microphone? <laughs> yeah. Well, there was what was known as contrails. <laughs> Let's say you're in the Air Force. <laughs> you're in the Army, the Navy. You. <laughs> I think the Army does have a few planes. Yes. Yeah. Well, sometimes when wanting to weather engineer... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs>